So um, um, I was expecting more of your colleagues to join, and uh, so we don't have much time. I will just by four. I will, will I'll, I'll, I'll short even before four. We will end this meeting. But um, uh, as you can see, the part the part is quite. This is on record now, and uh, maybe I can I will just upload to the channel when I'm done. The part is quite quite um, explicit in the, the part so that you guys can can do your own exercise on your own and. Uh, and it should be quite easy for all of us, okay? So I modified the part and then uh, in the, in the, in the, let me just share that. So that you can. Okay, so, so this is basically the part. This is the, your notes and um, what we have, we, we have been discussing in the past two classes is uh, what is the purpose of forecasting? Why do we forecast? You know, the, 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 the principles of key quantity forecasting. When you are attempting to tell the future, why, why, why do we focus? So what are the quality focus techniques that we, we, we talked about, about the Delphi network, the market research, the historical analogy, these are all, and, and, and we've talked about what the moving average is clear we can We'll consider on one the moving average and the exponential smoothing. Those are the two. And then we can talk about the additive moving and multiplicative moving of time series. How do we decompose time series? And our forecasting is going to be a regression. That is, we regression analysis for forecasting. And then before we move towards the index theory. So basically, it's regression for forecasting. We will forecast using the, the moving average. We'll forecast also using regression on data. So, and then we can get our trend line, and also from the trend line, you can use that to like predict the, the, the future, and the, which is what time series is all about. In terms, you know, it's so useful that, that even like what is happening now, and with reference the coronavirus disease, you know, so we are aggregating data the cases every day. We can use that to actually tell the pattern what happened in the, which model best describe our, our data. And that we are aggregating. And even the sales, you know, sales of commodities, these are all time associated. So when you say time series data, it's anything that is linked with time. That's the time series data. So the the we the the key um, for our purpose, for the purpose of forecasting, we need to understand some key um, um, component of forecasting. Okay, so, so when you are attempting to build the feature by using qualitative means. All forecasting methodologies can be divided into three broad headings. So we have the three broad, broad headings for forecasting methodologies. One, what people have done, that is, that is what people have done, and uh, so that is basically time series analysis, that is what people have done, and then you can use regression. That's one. And the thing, um, it could either be sales, it could be um, 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 the output of an event or, or the, the outcome of things that are happening. So you already have a secondary data. Say for example, the number of children born every day, you don't calculate the fertility rate of your country. And then you want to know, you go to births and deaths, and then the births and deaths tells you on the first of this. So that's a time series data. You think about that also. It's also a time series data, maybe the pattern. If, if, if you can see there, uh, in, in Africa for us here, the, the, the lower, the, the bottom of the pyramid is, is very, very broad because of um, you have more youthful people in the Africa, but, but um, this is due to maybe like it could be our health facilities or, or, or hygiene issues or a lot of things that are, are surrounding us. So the first aspect, the first branch of time series that you're looking at is what people have done. And for it, we'll be using what? we we'll do some time series and regression analysis on that, which is the exponential smoothing and then the moving average. Then what people say? So what people say again, the other branch of what I'm, I'm forecasting, you want to know what people say. You see, for example, you do a survey, you have a question here, okay? That is, you, you administer a question here, that you want to get the opinion of people, especially if you're introducing a new product to the market, you want to know exactly what the people are saying. And what people do, like um, what people do is like normally testing, marketing, uh, reaction, you know, reaction tests. Like if you have um, um, in the laboratory, people are always what doing experiments. This is what, what people do. Just like when you are you, when you are in your first day, or if you did any practicals in physics or you know chemistry, 
then you need to try to reach out, you have to work on events, and then you can smooth it and then try to attempt to tell what is the behavior, what is the best thing. Or if you 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 have your you've done experiments in physics, either your your electricity or your heat or mechanics, your hooks law, whatever you have done in, in your physics, uh, in your particles, these ones are recorded. You see, you can record at different temperatures, it depends upon your type or at different times, what happened when after one second, after two seconds, what happened. Those are recorded and then you can now use the, 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 the model for the analysis that you're doing to tell exactly what is the pattern, what is the behavior. It could be linear, it could be logistics, that is not linear. Just like when you were in high school, you did um, um, experimental law that is very modern, different, different, different. Um, we use different logistics regression uh, to do our work. Plan. So those are the three branches. So what people have done, that are from past activities, are cheapest to collect what may be outdated and past behaviors. It's not necessarily indicative of the future behavior. So that those are some of the drawbacks in, in, in using uh, that people have collected. Then um, we also went on to say what people say. That is like um, data derived from surveys are more expensive to obtain and need to have critical appraisal. So intentions are expressed in surveys and questionnaires are not always translated in action. So at times normally we do these surveys, we go out, we, we administer questionnaire, we come up with for us to 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 put into action what we have, these are some of the challenges we face in our in, 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 in survey research, okay? And uh, finally, it's, 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 we have lights now? Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, what people do, see? Yeah. That are derived from recordings, okay, what people actually do and uh, the most reliable, but also the most part expensive and occasionally it is not feasible for data to be obtained. So that is it, like um, an experiment or if you're working like in an industry, we are really want to test the quality of the product and then you record. Those are like something you're doing at the moment, at that time. So those are like very, very authentic information, but it's quite expensive. You have to pay the lab technicians and uh, Okay, so this is just like a recap of, um, so what forecasting, forecasting application is. Actually, every form of decision making and planning activity involves some forecasting. So whatever you have to do, even if it's production planning, you have what, inventory control, you are doing business, you have, you know, events of cash flows, you have, you know, cost projection, demand projection, so like you want to produce them. I remember when there was this, you have this um, company team, that is the King's production, a share new They came and then they produced mega cola, you know, eh, 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 eh. you have the apple cider, you have the fresh up and all of this. So we are competing with cold storage. So they want to know exactly what is going to be the behavior of the market and the demand for our products. So they can even focus on demand and say, oh, let's, let's increase the, the, the volume of, uh, of our, our liquid as we sell, let's reduce the price, or so let's sell it fast, cola. So that people can test and see, and then maybe the demand for our products will increase. And today, you can see we have a lot of huge demand now, and it's all over, and, uh, and people buy them regularly. Just like we have also the Sarah juice, all of this went. So these are like production lines, and people want to tell what is the behavior of the market. The market appreciates these things that we, we, we are introducing, and it appreciates them. Okay, so forecasting is applicable to you know corporate planning, budgeting. You mean, that is why normally go and then somebody give project, give project from here. That is their forecast that this year we are going to spend it. So these are some of the use. So you can, even um, uh, um, the Bank of Sierra Leone and other areas, these are just like key things. You want to see the rate of change of white goods and services in the country, the rate at which white goods are coming in and going over time. And then you can try to what predict the pattern and then say, oh, our economy, um, we'll be safe right now. We have we have reserve of this. We can pay workers. We can pay uh, the staff. We can we can more people can come in and then you know so these are how forecasting is very very applicable to, to our work. So you have the qualitative and the quantitative. So the qualitative forecasting talks about you know broadly these are the two broad areas of forecasting. So when you say the, the qualitative forecasting, 
these are our techniques which are used when data are scarce. If you don't have enough data, it's qualitative. Please take notes. Like you want to do a focus group discussion, you want to do in-depth interview, these are, and then you give reports of that one. These are qualitative. You can even, you know, sort of expert panel, the panel review of panelists, specialists in a particular subject area, like you know, the, to get the view. These are all ways of obtaining a qualitative that and you can use those qualitative uh, uh, outcomes that you get and then you can predict the future that yes um, just like when the, the corona outbreak we had a corona outbreak but the governments most governments did say, oh let's close our borders all borders were closed no flights commercial flights was banned and then uh, we now have coffee in place for night so just to you know, minimize the movement of people and then the, that there will be no more because when i know Nobody will go to the beach again at night or go to club centers and all of this stuff because they are all shut down. And so you can you can you can see. So experts will normally come on an NCR for us not to get more cases or people get you know the number of deaths. Let's implement these measures. Those are qualitative research that, that come from. It. But for our purpose here, we are actually referring to uh, M M M quantitative. It's going to be quantitative research. You be doing and, and quantitative times with the, that is has to do with, with statistical complexities which are based on analyzing past data of items to be forecasted. So like to be sales, the issues in store, cost in a lot of things. Those are past data. I will use past data, you know, and then I can project the future and then say, oh, this is um just like someone who sells and, and food. Do you think if, if I if I know my customer level is like I can get 50 customers per day? I don't need to go and prepare food for 100 or 200 customers. Who else is going to come and eat that one? So that is how the basic people in the market, that is how they operate. No, who oh, me, this food I'm preparing, this rice I'm selling, uh, this cookie I'm, I'm running, cookie shop I'm running. The number of, 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 of bags of rice or the number of, of cups of rice I need to prepare today is gauged by the number of persons that normally from the past, from the past data. In the past records, number of persons that have been coming to that shop and they are eating there. So the person will say, Oh, yeah, uh, maybe uh, there are some big days, some big days the sent, he will sell, and then before you go in, you will say, Oh, all the food is down. The I was expecting it to end by three o'clock or four o'clock, but now look at this. Uh, at one o'clock, my food is off. So come the next day, I need to increase my quota. So those are some of the things that still stay, and it's purely based on past data. And then so that is what we'll be looking at in the quantitative. So you have a lot of reasons to do the depth in network, you have what the market research, the historical analogy. The only historical analogy is that it's when severe past data are what particularly or particular items are not available. So you said you have to for a new product, say I want to introduce a new product in the market. Data on similar products are analyzed to what establish the life cycle and and expected sales of one and new food. How many of us do consume uh, some drink by day of it's ready? Okay. So, 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 so if a new product is coming, you say, ah, let's see, you don't just need to go and break all our 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 product like that and then produce a lot when you know the market is not ready. Just like when our brother came and put it in, he bring it he brought in the cement factory all of them. So he wanted to reduce the cost of what the bag of cement and then well he has to look in, his own product was a new product, so it's, it's a new brand that is coming in. So you have to see what others have been doing, and then he uses that one and say, oh, let me gauge it this way, and then he produces to see, because the heat at which we are building, our infrastructure is growing, and then you know, the demand for product. So these are all things that I expect you to read, and uh, people normally, when they see the time series, they are only interested in you know, solving quantitative quantities that are known. You need to read and get broader understanding also that you can also use historical trends to discuss them. So our target here is quantitative forecasting. If prerequisite to use and to the use of what the technique to be described is data on past usage or demand. So that is it. What we'll be doing here in the, our time series there, we are actually looking at the quantitative. So at the basic prerequisite is what data. Data on usage is what we want to see. So we know we don't want to use any, 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 anything to forecast the television and application. So we want to use data on, 
uh, on usage, is what you want to use. So nevertheless, however long the period is covered by fast data, and exploration of what or focus. Okay, so you can extrapolate our data. We can we can we can we can, we can focus produces from what the data by whether whatever technique should work, be treated with what conditions can change and do change quite rapidly judgment, experience, and a wide knowledge of what the market is always plays a part in establishing a reliable product. So, so you, you, you understand. Don't come the evening when I was uh, when I was doing my my my, my first IDT uh, infant mortality. So I did not take a very long period of time. I just took the months for four years and then so for five years with that, all the months. So I know there are, are 12, 12 um, months in the year and uh, and by five. So I have 60 time points, months. So, so without those months and then I was looking at what? The debt. That's all. I had to use simple regression. That's the leak pattern model. And then I forecasted the number of children that are in the And it was good because uh, Maybe some of those research led to the the the, the free health care that came in 2010. Yeah. So in 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 in, in so when once you do a research, you do analysis, those results are can be helpful to government to say, ah, this forecast is telling us that if we don't do something, more thing will happen. In my master's, I did the the, the forecast of maternal death. So I said oh, 168 women will die as per the model I've used to to tell. That if measures are not in place, this is what is happening. And it's quite big. If the UN wants to say, no, 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 nobody should die of child bearing. They just want it to be like one or two. That because of advancement in science and technology, uh, they, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't believe in those things. They don't just believe that a child should die. That must be easy because of them. But some of these things are, are challenges for us here in Africa because we don't, we don't have much, much um, Advancements in medical facilities and as a case maybe for some part of our, our, our communities and our, our location. So time series analysis, as the name suggests, time series analysis uses what some form of what mathematical or statistical analysis on past data arranged in a time series. Sales by month for the past 10 years. It's a time series data. Time series analysis have the advantage of relative basis for certain factors need to be what considered. So we talk about these are the factors. So the first um, aspect of time series analysis that we look at is the moving average. The moving average. Moving average is quite important. So uh, which is going to be your first time. So by my next slide, and uh, I would expect you guys to have mastered moving average. So as you can see from the, so this is something you should do on your own now. I expect you to verify my results. This is the three month moving average. So if I am forecasting, I want to use the three month forecast. So uh, uh, I have data from January to January date on the year. They said I should forecast. So when I say three month forecast, I'm forecasting for what month? April, because the first three months are January, February, and March. The average of that is going to be the forecast. And then I'll use February, March, April to forecast for what? May. And then I'll use March, April, May to forecast for what? June. So that is what the three month moving average forecast is. Okay, you have some other forecast, the naive forecast and the hard to parameter, but for your level, you just limit it to um, basic moving averages and also regression on data. Okay, and the, so those that's it. You have the three month moving average. I expect you to verify if my result is correct. That is, you forecast the, the fourth month. You also have the six month moving average, and then you have uh, maybe. Uh, annual moving average, 12 month moving average, very the steps are there. You just need to like um, um, practice it on your own and you use the pack and then you see. So you see, so what are the limitations of what moving average? So that is one assignment I expect from you. You have to like tell me what are the limitations of moving average and you should begin to learn this type of things. You have my email address, you just need to like um, type your, 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 your your, your responses, and then you can email me, and then I can know that you have done that work. Okay? To, 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 I, 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 you can even do it through WhatsApp if you know you, you have some constraints emailing or, but you need to, at your level now, you need to, at least you should get some of these things. Uh, as a university student, you should get email, you should get, you should be connected using social media. 
she not say, oh no, because I'm coming from the provinces or I'm this, I don't have computer. You don't have to get a computer before you get an email. Even your phone, you can use that to, to create the other email. Yeah. So I expect you to cover the, the three point home in average. You can even and then the six point home in average focus. You have to compute your scores. And then the next aspect is time plots. So you can see how the time series is plotted. You can plot this one. So here I use my minimum value is 350 and an interval of what? Because the lowest value, the, the same, the lowest seed there is around um, 3, 3, 360 or so. So the minimum value there, I use 350, I use an interval of 20, 20, 20. On the y axis, which is the sales axis, and I have a month. This is the behavior of the time series, as you can see, how the sales are taking place. And you can begin to realize that, yes, some points, some point there was peak, some other point there was what? There was no peak. You can see, begin to see pattern. If you're doing it for years, then you begin to know, oh, every August, as you can see, August is the lowest point here, and the highest one is what? In December. So let's assume this the, the sales of ice cream. Ice cream. You never you, 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 you like in, in winter, you, 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 don't, you don't expect people to, 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 to buy ice cream in winter because it's extremely cold. Just like in Sierra Leone during August, the ice cream sales is not much. Well, let's say if it's in December, when you know, the, 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 for us in Africa, it's when the, 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 the sun is right out there. And so you can see that the sales will be what? Will be high. In, 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 in those months, because people go in for more ice cream and even cold water will sell. But others see the sale of cold water is not much because of what this is cold. And uh, so, also, if you in the, in, the, in the advanced world, also like winter, those things can sell in winter. But in summer, people eat a lot of ice cream. So, you get more sales in those things. Like that. So, that is the time plot. You should not do the time plot. I expect you to go through that. And, uh, the next is so, so you can see a time plot of what the sales and then the, the three point moving average and also what the six point moving average. And you have notes to take notes of there where you, when you are plotting these ones. So that is moving average and a quick, a, a quick um, 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 introduction of what time series with reference. We now know what are qualitative forecasting, quantitative research, or quantitative forecasting towards and, and our focus. Our focus is what on the quantitative. We, we're not looking at the qualitative at the moment. We just like describe a few qualitative methods, but we are looking at what quantitative. Okay, and uh, so uh, I, will, I will stop there and ask if you guys have uh, questions or comments, to, or you want us to discuss if something that's not clear, you want clarification, you can ask. Um. Yes, uh, and I, I want to thank you for the lectures. It was well understood. Okay, Timothy, that's but, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I want you to help me out because since I'm not having the hard copy of the handout as of now, I don't know if you can help me with the soft copy whilst I will try to get onto Memuna for the hard copy. Yeah, it, it will be, I will, I, will, I will give the hard copy, the soft copy at the end of the, maybe, maybe um, when Memuna will have, everybody will have secured their own content and then I can just send soft copy. But try to get yours. I know by next class you'll get yours. Just get onto Memuna. She will let you get yours. Oh, maybe, I see. The shortest and then, right. and I will, I will also, Tell them you just need to tell them to upload it to also attack yeah. so because the, the, I was group. actually using I think for in yeah okay so I will try to do that so if you're in the group now then we can you can even use what I've given to you for now and then by uh, by the time you get your own partner so you do at a faster pace okay you get the soft copies later right it's, yeah. it's yours it's just that uh, you, uh, okay yeah. sir yeah yes can any comment Hello? Uh, yeah. Hello? Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. Is it Khan or Usman yeah, um, who is talking? Thank you very much. Um, Usman, Usman. Okay. Usman, yeah. Um, based on your, your, your presentation, actually, um, you measured something on the forecasting, forecasting application. And yeah. one of the bullet points, which also talks about investments of cash flow. So I would like you to do that on the aspect of the investment of cash flow. They were? Show me we have the investment of cash flow. 
Oh. Then the second me, question. Excuse me. Excuse um, me. Looking at the aspects of. Um, Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. Your first question is that. Some which is up. Yeah. The first question. I did not get the first question clear. In fact, uh, the, best, the first question I'm talking about the investment cash flow. So just digress on the investment of cash flow. Okay. 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 Yeah. Is that all? Then the second question, of course, under the quantitative, you also talk about the various research, like the market research, the historical analogy. You talk, you talk about quantitative. But um, based on the yeah, the qualitative exactly. Yeah. 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 So, so you talk. You highlight um, the market research, historical analogy. Okay, I see. I see what you are, are, are referring to. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, so um, um, what I want to, so we have moved up to um the the moving average forecast. So what these guys have been asking about is the qualitative research here, okay? So, and I give examples of some qualitative research. The qualitative research methods brief, uh, briefly dealt with what? The dealt with the method, the market research, and the second number. These are good, 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 and, and, and uh, things that we should, we should note. And uh, he also made mention of so I said, we are is time series, uh, the application of time series. We are doing apply time series. I hope that is clear. It's the application. When we see times, we are do I apply time series. So when you talk about what? The investment cash flow. So like even somebody be investing, yeah, yeah. Somebody be investing on what? On, on, on say like a, a, a monthly base, just like if you are running a project. You don't expect the donors to just send all the money to you. They'll give you the money in tranche, okay? They'll give you in tranche, they'll give you your money, maybe like um, so quarterly as the case may be. So you can actually use those project, those, those investments that are coming in, and then you can use that to, to focus. So that's like what we're saying. When you say an application, we have to apply time to, to, to time or focus. So, so forecasting is applied in also some of these inventory controls. That's how things are You can also talk about that one. Production planning. These are all areas that what you can you can apply forecasting. Now, it depends the 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 qualitative the qualitative techniques that we've talked about here. One is the one health method. It's straightforward. This is the technique mainly used for long-term forecasting, designed to obtain expert con. Consensus, expert consensus, expert consensus for a particular forecast without the problem of submitting to pressure or conforming to the majority. So you see, so here you only bring experts. So some people are experts in marine biology, and you, you might want to know maybe like um, the animals we have, or maybe like the fish, the the the, the rate at which we can forecast. You can forecast. The government, normally the government says there's a ban on fishing just so that the fish can breed and we can get more fish. Those are results of what they could be of the views of the expert that they have called that no, no, even the fishing type of nets that we are using, these are experts that will come and say, no, this type of fishing net, you get the small ones, get the big ones, and then it will affect your fishing um, um, industry as it is may be. So this is what we are the method. Now you have the, you have the, the, the um, market research. The market research uses opinion survey. That is, you go to the market, just like normally before elections, you have the opinion pool. People who do you vote for? They just choose at random, like 500 or 600 or 10 or 20 or 30 person, and let the interview to get their opinion. So, market research uses opinion surveys, analysis on, on market data. You can even use questionnaire and other investigations to guide the reaction of the market to a particular product. So like you have a product, the new product is coming now, and, and you want to know the reaction of the market. That is why normally, like um, those who do business, they normally do advertisement, like Jumbo Magic, the new one is coming in. You have this uh, uh, different type of products, like um, 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 seasons and all of those ones. Those are basic products, but they are also used for 
the people normally advertise on them. Okay, so those are like you, you go and search the opinion of the, the market on a particular product through surveys and this and then and get that. Uh, explain the historical analogy we talked about. The yeah, other data is fact. It's not available. You can depend upon some other business that has been in place that is similar to that of yours, and then you can you can do those compares. Is that okay? Don't forget you have work to do. The work is you'll be completing this one, and then you begin to look at so you complete this one. You already talk about the limitations. You do your graphs of time series, and don't forget the, the three point moving average, the actual says six point moving average. And for our next class, I expect to start looking at what exponential forecasting. Exponential forecasting. And uh, as you can see, um, those are like exponential forecasting, as you can see, it's quite, quite, quite useful. And um, you, can, you can begin to look at exponential forecasting before, and then you can see also um, what are the outputs from exponential forecasting. And you can also see the, the before you can come to time series composition using moving average. So your notes is like complete and it took me a lot of research. So you need to talk to your guys, those who are like um, um dragging their feet to buy the, 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 the handouts. As you can see, it's 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 quite it's quite involving it's good analysis that you can do to even write basic reports, basic you know um, um so that is it and um, I expect you guys to 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 share with your colleagues what we have learned today before you start the index and then the aspect. So you, you, you should be going through, um, um, I expect you to go ahead, but your notice complete for the semester. I don't think I need to add anything. It's just like you go through this point and try to understand it very well so that we, we, we can't get any problem um, with your, your, your course. Okay, so I really want you to get some good statistics. With time, this, all of these ones should be using the machines to compute them, to compute them and do your analysis. But for now, go and understand what time series is all about. Okay? What is time series? One advantage of time series is the forecasting aspect, and I can use that to forecast to tell the behavior of a product or the behavior of the market on a particular product. For whatever discipline, I told you about mortality, case fatality, you know, you, you, these are like very good indicators you measure, you know, poverty, indicators like post-generational child poverty, what has been the These are very good indicators you do analyze and analysis. In statistics, when you do it statistics, especially those of you, it is useful in all of your sciences because you, you always collect data and you use some statistical tools. You know, time series, you use moving average, you can use a lot of statistical tools to do your, your to get your output. So it's quite quite useful. I mean, it's it's almost in every discipline. See, it's in the economics field, it's in the the, the accounting field. Okay. So it's quite quite useful. So the first task is that you have you, you must have understood what time series. What am I looking in time series? In the statistics, we compute. You compute and get that value. And, you know, result is what we compute to get. And some of these things you you learn them and. As well, you will drop them also and you will apply them to your items that you're doing. Um, with, uh, maybe I will even be using like the COVID data I can play around that one. For example, I give you, if I give you an assignment now that's, um, um, are you listening? Are you listening, everyone? Your assignment is coming. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so so the assignment is I have, I want you to do, uh, we have a number of cases for the coronavirus. That have been coming into it. I don't know if you have the data, but I'll give you, I'll send the data to you, to your group. That you, you can use that one to do the three point moving average focus. You can use the data to do the, 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 I can tell you, maybe I can say use the five point moving average focus and, and you can do this analysis. I'll give the data to you, okay? So yeah, I, and the class is not, the Quran is not too much, but it's not bad because it's a record and you can access the content. So um, let me come back to you guys if you have more further questions to ask. I see Usman is gone and uh, Fatima Tad, uh, Conta came online and uh, yes. Any further questions, guys? Hmm. Is it um, okay? Yes, sir. I'm uh, actually, yeah. And um, actually what has helped me so far to understand the lectures, I can still recall back in level one, we did some amount of 
time series and I was just looking at the material and I saw the six months and the three months moving and focused. I was just reviewing what we did in level one and exactly. I saw most of it there. So I want exactly. to say thank you for the presentation. Exactly, exactly. So, so that is it. We are just now improving on what we did in level one to some standards here yeah, you, you, and, and time series four well, because in fact that, that aspect has been removed from the level one content now. So for you, you are oh, quite okay. lucky you have that now. And uh, so level two now, we now expand and also bring the some of these things also I brought them in the one. Just like improving on it now for you to actually um, understand how they are there. Okay? Yeah. Okay. All so right then, yeah. So in the absence of any further question, I want to bring this meeting to our heart for today. And I will I will send this recording to your group today. I will also send that one to, to, to the, my channel so you guys can access my channel and then you will over what I've explained for our next class. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, Fatima, you just came online. I don't know if you're hearing me. You can unmute your mic and say you know, okay. Yes, Fatima. Hello. Yeah, I'm listening. What was the question again? I said you if if you have you 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 just coming online. I don't know if you have this and and you you, you understood the class. You understood that. Are you okay with? Yes, that? sir. Just... That unfortunate. I'm just. Yeah, yeah, I'm somehow okay with the class, but since you said you will, let me say, send uh, an audio and also the assignments, we are waiting on that. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll forward those ones so you can get them on the channel and also I'll send the assignment for you to do the pre print moving out. But when you go through the okay. audio, you will get all of that. Yeah? Yes. Okay, guys. Yeah, all right, sir, thank you, you very much. Yeah, welcome.